Uh, thank you very much uh, to come to my presentation. So uh, today I'm talking about reassessing 50,000 vulnerabilities, insights from SSVC evaluation in Japan Rajas Telco. Uh, first of all, uh, it's about me. So I'm Hiro from Japan. Uh, I'm a SOC manager at NTT ME, that is NTT East Group Company. So uh, in my 10 years background in cybersecurity, uh, I read incident response and vulnerability management, and I also worked for uh, MSS. Actually, this is uh, my first time to present abroad, so I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm really uh, happy to be here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> And it's about NTT East. Uh, NTT East is the largest uh, telecom carrier having 13 million customers in Japan. So we cover 99% uh, area of Eastern Japan. So, and we provide FTTH, a uh, fixed telephone line, and leased line, and VPN, and web services. Uh, to operate these services, uh, we have hundreds of servers and network devices in open and closed network. It's a, a trend in the number of vulnerability. The number of vulnerability increase, uh, continues to increase year by year. Uh, it increased 56% in uh, five years, especially uh, in this portion, black and red portion, a critical and high account for over 60%. To deal with a huge number of vulnerability, uh, we used to assess vulnerabilities with our original method. Uh, we equally dealt with uh, public and closed network. That's a big problem. And so an anonymous number of vulnerabilities required action and balance to manage, like these people. So uh, we started considering a new method for vulnerability management. Uh, two years ago, and so uh, the new uh, requirements are these. So first one is uh, prioritize and decide action appropriately based on the severity of uh, vulnerability itself and attack possibility and attack surface and asset value. And also uh, asset logic is accountable. The last one is most important, the number of uh, high priority vulnerabilities uh, requiring immediate action is a realistic number to respond. Uh, this, uh, this is our first approach. Uh, it's actually uh, did not work. So uh, we try to use a CVSS version 3.1 more effectively. Uh, to, in addition to base metric, we try to use uh, temporal metrics such as uh, exploit code mat uh, maturity and uh, environmental metric such as CIA importance uh, of each service and impact from uh, impact to CIA. Then after considering uh, the each metric, uh, vulnerabilities have low uh, CVSS score in the closed network uh, may not have to be respond earlier. Uh, let's see how it works from next slide. So this is a, a picture of a CVSS calculator. So if you want, you can try from this URL. And uh, this is a one example of uh, vulnerability that has 8.6 uh, vulnerability uh, CVSS score. It's a little bit higher. And uh, let's see the effect of temporal metrics. To consider exploit code maturity, uh, I changed high, functional, uh, proof of concept, and unproven. As you can see, uh, everyone is still high. The next one is uh, effective environment metrics. So to consider a confidenti confidentiality effect because uh, this vulnerability has high uh, confidentiality. So uh, I try to uh, change high, medium, and low, but it's still high. The last one is temp uh, temporal metrics and uh, environment metrics. So finally, I uh, change the change the uh, unproven to the uh, ex code, ex exploit code maturity, and then uh, set law to the uh, confidentiality requirement. Uh, finally, I got uh, medium. So uh, as I can, uh, as I explained, uh, our, my first approach didn't work well because uh, it was not effective enough to pro 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 
prioritize the vulnerability and reduce the number of response. So, uh, because considering each metric is not effective enough to change the CVSS score and its severity. The CVSS is a uh, good indicator uh, to, to understand the basic uh, severity of vulnerability itself. Uh, on the other hand, uh, importance, important parameters are positioned as option items such as exploit availability, attack surface, and business impact. And CVSS score uh, 0 0.10 is obtained, but no guidelines exist for actions uh, from the score. And also, algor algorithms have not been op openly discussed and justified by the stand standardization groups. So to reconsider the uh, vulnerability management for us, uh, there are several um, methods for recent method. One is KEV and EPSS and SSVC and CVSS version four. So uh, this time, I, we focused on SSVC this time. What is SSVC? So uh, I explained a little bit about it. Uh, a framework, this is a framework proposed by Carnegie Mellon University to address the problem of CVSS. And the decision tree makes a decision uh, considering four key factors such as exploitation, uh, ex exposure, and utility and human impact. And then it outputs actions to be taken such as uh, immediate, uh, out of the cycle, and scheduled and deferred. And also, differ, uh, decision tree clearly shows the, what decisions were made. This is the entire picture of uh, decision tree, so it's very small. But uh, if uh, exploitation is active and exposure is uh, open, laboratory is uh, super efficient, and uh, human impact is human impact is uh, uh, very high or high, uh, we can get immediate. Uh, sorry for very small picture. And uh, to use SSVC method to our actual uh, vulnerability management, so we created our own criteria to determine each parameter as input uh, considering our actual environment. And the set that trying based on uh, the output from our SSVC decision tree. The first one is ex uh, exploitation the definition and uh, criteria and decision. If no exploit code uh, found, the decision is none. If exploit code exists but not listed on the exploit DB, the decision is POC. When exploit code is public on the exploit DB and available for exploitation, the output is uh, active. The second one is exposure. It's a uh, systems in the closed network, uh, such as management servers, the uh, decision is small, and the limited system in the fixed telecom network, uh, it's clo uh, controlled. And the uh, system is published to the internet or telecom net network to customers, such as web servers, the decision is open. The utility is a different, uh, little bit different from others. It can be decided a uh, combination of automatable and uh, value density. For automatable, uh, we uh, use a vector of CVSS. So if attack vector is network and a required privilege level is none, and a required engagement level is none, the decision is yes, and other than that, no. For value density, uh, impact and executive resources when a successful attack, such as web server data, database, authentication servers, and highly uh, sensitive data, the decision is controlled, other than that, diffuse. Uh, from combination of these output, uh, the UTD can be decided to uh, laborious, efficient, and super effective. The last one is human impact. The if development environment, a system for internal use only, this decision is low. The system to maintain the uh, telecom services and medium, and telecom service, uh, services and related services Says, other than uh, the following, the decision is high. The criteria, uh, critical uh, telecom and uh, so socially important service, the very high. This is the actual example uh, for 
uh, actual Varun VD, a spring for shell. The CVSS score is 9.8. For public web services, public web service, uh, exploitation is active, uh, exposure is open, uh, utility is super effective, impact is high, the output is immediate. In my company, actually, it's uh, completed remediation on the same day. And the, on the other hand, uh, telecom related services in the cloud closed network, exploitation is active, uh, exposure is small because it's a uh, closed network, and the UTT is efficient and impact is high, the output is uh, out of the cycle. To evaluate uh, the method, uh, we reassessed uh, 50,000 vulnerabilities. For target data, uh, we extracted a list of 50,000 vulnerabilities from our management database. And it's acquired based on the software components information from our actual hundreds of uh, services over the past few years. It's actually, uh, it ha actually have been assessed and responded if necessary in our uh, previous workflow. And to evaluate these uh, vulnerabilities, uh, we uh, applied our SS new SSVC method, and uh, it carried out uh, by two people over 10 days. It's a, a result of the assessment. So it's divided into a public network and uh, a closed or control network. And their uh, immediate out of cycle uh, schedule and differ. So first of all, so immediate is just 8% and out of cycle is 9%. The total number of this is 70%. So uh, we can say uh, it's much more, more realistic number to respond. Next one, uh, let's see the uh, attack surface. So in the public network, uh, immediate and out of cycle and schedule account for 98% and DeFi just 2%. And in the enclosed or a control network, no immediate. On the other hand, uh, scheduled and differ account for 92%. So it effectively pro pro uh, prioritize considering open and control across network. Let's focus on immediate. So I, we checked what SSBC severity included. And uh, critical is 15% and high is 50%. So the total with this is a 65% that descent. And on the other hand, uh, medium and low account for 35%. That's interesting. If we uh, respond to the C CV, uh, CVSS score, a uh, critical or high severity, uh, we overlook this portion. So why uh, low severity is included in the immediate? Let's see. So this is because of the structure of uh, SSVC uh, decision tree. So even if CVSS score is low, if a foreign vulnerability can be immediate, exposure is active, and the expo uh, exploitation is active, exposure is open, and human impact is uh, high or very high. That's why it happened. The last one is uh, uh, attack difficulty. So uh, attack vector is, if uh, attack vector network is a 67%, and uh, for attack complexity, low and medium account for 97%. High is only 3%, so decent. So I can say effectively prioritize considering attack difficulty. So that's the conclusion. Our CVSS method effectively prioritizes vulnerability, considering attack possibility, attack surface, and a business impact. The number of high priority requiring immediate action is 8%. That's so much more realistic number to respond. Our current and future work is how to determine the important parameter. So this is the most important one. So uh, I think we should reconsider this one. And other future work is uh, to automate and optimize entire vulnerability management. Thank you for listening. Do you have any questions?
Are you applying this to software that you develop internally as well, or is it only for uh, third-party vulnerabilities in production? So, so could you say? <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, do you apply this methodology to software you develop internally as well as third-party and open-source uh, components that you run in production? Uh, you mean, oh, what? So, uh, Ah, uh, third-party software. Uh, thank you for thank you for helping. Mm. Yeah, first-party versus third-party. So this uh, is all third-party. Yeah. Okay, so we use so many uh, open sources or uh, commercial sources to operate our services, such as these services. So we use many kind of softwares. Mm. Or do you have any question? Um, did you get any uh, pushback from management moving fr away from CVS? It seems to like CVS is very, you know, established, especially with regulators and that sort of thing. They expect it. <laughs> oh. Oh. Could, sorry, could you sorry. say yes? I'm so sorry. Oh. Um, did management uh, mind moving away from CVS? Were they a bit hesitant to um, use a, a new kind of approach? Mm -hmm. oh. mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> sorry. 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 <laughs> no, so like uh, uh, regulators are big fans of CVSS um, and I imagine you guys are very regulated. Uh, so you mean why? I, we decided to use CVSS. Yeah, so at the um, at your level, you know, of course, it, it looks like an interesting thing. Uh, CVS not work, but um, maybe the management um, attached uh, to it. Yeah. Okay, so we can we can decide it uh, by ourselves. So it's not regulation, uh, but so mm, to deal with so many uh, vulnerabilities, we started using this. Mm, yeah, it's not regulation. Did you have any difficulty in automating checking things like the human impact mm. of the vulnerability as you scored the 50,000 vulnerabilities? Uh, yes, so we have some hundreds of systems and we decide what, what is important and what is not important and uh, we try to uh, decide by ourselves and decide. And so it, that's manual. <laughs> Yeah, we cannot manually yeah. decide this, what is important system or not. Were there any other places where you used an approach like that to help in automating um, the scoring or the categorization? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> Sorry, what? Were there any other places where instead of uh. choosing the decision tree for individual vulnerabilities, you chose it for like a group of systems or something like that? Uh, to help automate. Uh, so the last one, just that's, that's my, our future work. So the vulnerability can can be can be acquired uh, based on the uh, software component information. Yeah. So we try to extract the software information automatically, and uh, and and uh, so yeah. That's, 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 uh, sorry, that's the last no, last page. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. Have you uh, implemented this yet at the company? Oops, sorry. Have you implemented this strategy at the company and seen results of reprioritizing things? So you're focused on reprioritizing these vulnerabilities mm -hmm. to be fixed. Yeah. Have you implemented this at the company and seen tangible results yet of the prioritization? Maybe uh, 
uh, less uh, lower active amount of open vulnerabilities, anything like that? Mm. <laughs> Sorry. Just a study, you really did this, right? Yeah, this is actual data. Have you? Oh, yeah, it's that's actual data. Have you have you seen the impact of this study? Have you implemented at your company? Oh, humbly, humbly. Oh, so it's, yeah, it's already implemented. So yeah, we we use SFS, SSVC to our actual vulnerability uh, management. So to to decide uh, to use SSVC, uh, we check uh, how it works. Sure. Just, just, uh, yeah. Have you seen uh, like a, I don't know if you guys measure how many active vulnerabilities you have on a monthly or yearly cycle. Have you seen a decrease in the number of criticals and highs that are outstanding? or like your mean time to repair, any of those metrics pop up as a side effect or a product of this? A side, side effect or something? Um, <laughs> you have prioritized everything. Has that prioritization yielded uh, quicker fix times for the higher priorities, or you now have less outstanding criticals and highs because of it? Well, <laughs> Ah, yeah, <laughs> okay. So, yeah, uh, actually the immediate end of the cycle is uh, about 8.9%, so it reduced. So, yeah, so we decided, uh, uh, sorry, we decided the set that, that drive for each output and uh, uh, for immediate and out of the cycle, or we just uh, we have to respond earlier, so it's just about seventy percent. So, yeah, other than that, we we can uh, do it uh, through through way. So sure, yeah. Okay. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> With the deadlines you guys set, do they really hit that? Yeah, I we actually said that the time, but. I can not share because of our <laughs> company's information. So, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I, I I can tell you after that. <laughs> yeah, it's on YouTube. So, <laughs> yeah.